Ah, you think it's only one rewind for a while? No, it's gonna be two, and it's related to what's the next main showcase episode going to be. So, in MMGS version two rewind episode ten, believe it or not, two things is happening. First of all, is the very first time I did a showcase and commentary. Yes, folks, the very first commentary I did, and the game that I did a commentary on is believe it or not. Capcom versus SNK Pro for the PlayStation. <gasps> yes, believe it or not, because there was a Dreamcast version, but then years later there was also a PlayStation 1 version. I don't know the backstory why they did that, but surprisingly for the PlayStation 1, it actually runs okay, believe it or not. I mean, it's not as good as a Dreamcast version, but it runs good so the backstory for the showcase is it's also for the first time i actually did a live feed rather than a direct feed yes again at the time let's just say i didn't have a lot of resource to do direct feed for certain games so i did something different what i did is i used a camcorder recorded on the screen using the playstation 3 due to the fact that i can play ps1 game so i kind of showcase explain what it is what's my connection to something for that game and how it runs which is again it runs good so with that rewind episode number 10 is my very first showcase and commentary and the game that i did was a game that i actually like capcom versus snk pro for the playstation one uh enjoy and this was gonna be i'm gonna try something different a different a different approach on for my Mega Mix game showcase, and I, as you can see, this is actually a live feed. So you can see my hands, you can see my TV here. So this is a live feed, better than direct, cause well, I just I don't have really the proper materials for it. <laughs> so so this is gonna be a different one. I guess I can call this Mega Mix game showcase and commentary. Basically, I'm gonna show this the game, but this time I'm adding in some commentary in it, like giving my thoughts about a game. Uh, the idea came from one of my friends when he was watching my videos. He said, "How come you don't do commentary on your showcases?" And I said, "I don't know. The, the whole point was just to show what the game is, so people either buy the game or not." But I said, "You know, sometimes give some backstory information rather rather than just a description." So I said, all right, I'll try this. So for now, I'm using my camcorder, my nice TV here, and my PS3. So anyway, so the game, what am I gonna showcase for my first ever Mega Mix game showcase and commentary? Well, this is an old classic game, and this is from 2001. And, I, and it's called, if you can see this right here, Capcom versus SNK Pro. For the PlayStation, remember the PS3 can play PlayStation One game, not two, but one. Here's the back cover. Remember the PlayStation cover, cover. Instead of in a Blu-ray disc cover, it's a CD. You put the manual here in a CD case sleeve and design inside here. <laughs> oh my goodness, 1990 stuff. The games of the 30, 32-bit era. So. Anyway, Capcom versus SNK Pro. The backstory here is that unless you're an old school fighting game community, this is one of the best game is Capcom and SNK. What happened if they duke it out in a fight? So there you go. You got the cash from Capcom versus SNK. And in starting in 2000, both Capcom and SNK made the game. And the backstory of the deal was both Capcom and SK are required to develop at least at least two games. It doesn't matter what medium, what media it is, what system it's it for, as long as they have to do two games. That's what the contract is. Alright, so I wanna make a correction from my rewind there. So like I said, that video was made way in the past. But the correction that I want to do was that in that video I said two games for both sides. 
in actuality, that was actually a mistake. The actual deal for the collaboration are that both Capcom and SNK must at least do one fighting crossover game for the arcade. So that's the key word there, the arcade. And uh, they can do other franchise, other game of the based on the crossover, but they have to at least do one game that is for arcade. So in the Capcom side, it's actually Capcom versus SNK Millennium Fight 2000. It was for an arcade. Of course, there was a Dreamcast version, but unfortunately, that was only in Japan due to the fact that well, the Dreamcast outside of Japan. Well, it sucks if you know the history of that one. At the same time, for the SNK side, was SVC Chaos, SNK versus Capcom. So those are the arcade one. And what happened was in the Capcom side, they said, hey, you know what? This game was good. People liked it. We were getting a lot of praise. So why not do a sequel to it? So they did. And there you go. Capcom versus SNK 2, which is... The superior versus the other game. Sorry, but you know it's the truth. And SNK said, you know, we have the Neo Geo Pocket. Why not? Let's make a fighting game titled Match of the Millennium SNK versus Capcom. And of course, that one to some extent. What's the beneficial of that? Well, you can play it on the go. I mean, Neo Geo Pocket is actually cool. But at the same time, if you plug it in on the Dreamcast, you actually unlock two new characters exclusively. So, yeah, believe it or not, there was some sort of integration with the Dreamcast and the Neo Geo Pocket. But, of course, if you follow the Neo Geo Pocket, at some point, they decided to just recall it outside of Japan and just shift it to Japan different story there but yeah so again the correction is that the deal was that at least Capcom and SNK do one game for the arcade the arcade so again those games are Capcom versus SNK Millennium Fight 2000 and SVC Chaos SNK versus Capcom. Capcom, of course, did Capcom versus SNK, and then they made an upgrade version for the Dreamcast in the PS1, which is Pro, by adding in two new characters. I'll explain that later. And then, of course, Capcom versus SNK 2, Mark of the Millennium 2001. And for SNK, they did SNK versus Capcom Millennium of the Fight 2000 for the Neo Geo Pocket. And maybe in the future, I'll probably do a showcase on New Geo Pocket. I did already, I think, two showcase games. And I actually did a showcase on SNK vs. Capcom for the Neo, jo Neo Geo Pocket. I'll probably put that in the description. It's going to be in the description, the link. So, the, they did that one. And another one, maybe in the near future, I'll also do this showcase. Called SNK vs. Capcom. SNK's version of... Capcom vs. SNK, unfortunately, it really wasn't that good. And I mean, I was still a fan of SNK on support. I really wanted that game. But what happened was that in the PS2 era, it was originally going to be ported to the PS2, but SNK decided not to, made it an Xbox exclusive because the reason is it was a price issue and it got me upset about it. And when I email SNK say if there's any way to bring it to the PS2 and they just said nope, no chance, they never did and a lot of the fans who are a PS2 owner but as an SNK fan, they were upset and then of course they did rectify that in 2007 because by then the PS3 is out so they did bring in a lot of SNK game for 15 bucks but that's going to be another story so anyway let's start this showcase Capcom versus SK Pro. So here we go. Booting up, like always. So again, let me just recap this a backstory for people who probably didn't listen to my other video about backwards compatibility. PS3, the reason they got rid of it was to cut costs. So the slim one and the newer version one, the top loader, they're compatible with PS1 game. 
but not PS2 game. And also a backstory, your disc form and your digital form of PS1 game, they're not compatible. I know it's stupid. I don't know what happened. Maybe correct me if I'm wrong, but from what I heard that say you have a save file from your disc version of Final Fantasy 7 trying to play the digital version, it's not going to work. So here's Capcom's intro. It's FMV. <laughs> I mean, the game is really big. It's powerful. It's supposed to be like PS2 graphic, and it is interesting they made it, they put it in the PS1. I mean, if you've seen this in arcade, I can guarantee you it looks nice. Right now, it is just in the VMV, FMV, excuse me, VMV. And there you go, they're hyping out Capcom vs. SK. And if you notice, it's King of Fighter 94, it's Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. That's basically the roster, so I'll show that. There, 2000. The game wasn't bad, but the problem is. The, yeah, the problem with the game was it was also underdeveloped. They just put in a lot of character. It's mostly cut and paste, but the sprite for the SNK were, I think, the, that's the main developed part. But in the part for Capcom, I think not so much. But, alright, well, let's go. So, you see here, you got a lot of this option arcade mode versus to play with your friend, couch co op. Pair mode is basically big two fighter versus two fighter, and I'll explain that later on. Why? Because they, they did something different in this one. Price mode is basically your store, you just buy extra characters and I think extra characters and gallery. Training mode to train, like always, every fighting game on the home console always have a training mode. Call it edit mode, of course, edit your character, make them have montage color like put Ryu in blue and light blue so he'll be Mega Man Ryu or something option and memory card when you save your game so I'm gonna start with arcade I'm gonna pick arcade mode here just like the arcade load times gotta love them I don't really don't mind it but if the long the load times really long that's bad so you get two groups Capcom or SNK. It's basically based on Street Fighter, Al Street Fighter Alpha, or SNK, basically King of 94. Alright, if you notice there's like different ratio. Ratios to characters are like the boss characters. They're powerful, ratio ratio to them well balanced. And ratio ones are, are weak, but they're supposed to be fast. Alright, so we're both. And one of the weird things they did was they, 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 they put this the ratio system. It basically depends on the ratio. You can have either a one, a two team, even a one team, one member team, two member team, or three, or even four. But then they have to add up to ratio total of four so since both Kyo and Ryu are are ratio two so two plus two there equals four that's the catch so if I pick like say Sakura, Blanca, Benimaru and Kami they're all ratio one so I get four characters but the downside is they are weak ratio twos are basically well balanced characters and most of them are the main character like Ryu, Ken, Iori, and Kyo. And then ratio series are basically your boss characters. Such as the Shadow Loop people. And well the box from SK. Yeah, I just beat up my No, I guess the next one should be. See, most of the sprites are based on Street Fighter Alpha 2, except for Ryu and Ken, and the original sprite for the SNK characters. Really nice. And it's also vice versa with SNK versus Capcom Chaos. 
Ah, really? Engage version is basically based on game 94 or 95. You hold down two buttons to charge up your super, and then once it fills up, you have that match. You can do a super, just like that. There you go, super finish. Yeah, besides PS2 or excuse me, PlayStation, this was also in a Dreamcast, and I highly, if you have a Dreamcast, I highly recommend buying it. From what I heard, it's pretty good. It's actually the graphics much better. And of course, if you have a PS3, heck, buy Capcom vs. SNK 2, Mark of the Millennium 2001. It's on the PSN as a digital download for 10 bucks. So, you know, if you notice there, you just missed it. My opponents saw a bunch of Ratio 1 character, that's what they're for. So, it's 2 against 4, but again, the weight. The weakness is they're weak. That's what ratio one. It depends on the ratio. Your stamina is. Your stamina is. Don't have a lot of stamina versus the ratio two. And if you're a ratio three, you got a lot of stamina, but like a boss character. Yeah, you. Easy to beat them, but again, you can always turn it around. I mean, oh, that's not fair. Like ratio versus a ratio two. Of course, ratio one character is gonna lose. Not necessarily. If you play your cards right, you can turn it around. But then, of course, in SK versus Capcom versus SK two, excuse me, they changed that. Now you can customize your own ratio. But this one you couldn't, and that was one of the weaknesses. Not do a fireball. Yeah, I don't play with the fighting stick. I just play with it. My usual PS2 controller, PS3. I, I I talked about that in the blog that I just prefer gamepad over fighting stick. And also, if you notice, except for everyone else, Ryu, Ken, and Akuma, and even Dan to some extent, have different sprites. They're not using their Street Fighter Alpha sprite. Benimaru is known for really doing, he has like a high jump. Right, let's see if I can connect. And I failed. So just like in yeah, King Final 94 or 95, if your health bar is flashing, that means you can do infinite times of super move. There, as in case version of Ryu. And for the artist, if you don't know what happened to him, I think now he's officially working for Capcom. I mean, the first thing he did was Capcom Fighting Evolution. And then if you see the cover for Marvel vs. Capcom 3, 
You see his style is is there in the cover. Oh, and also Tatsunoko versus Capcom. Really, uh, kind of interesting. And if you wonder why it's, I think it has something to do with SNK filed for bankruptcy and the company actually went out of business. So he was hired by Capcom. So now he's doing Capcom. And if you and for some people, wait a minute, Cap, I think it's still alive. Yeah, now it is. But before, when the original SNK, they found back that they were gone. The guy who owned it created his own company called Playmore, and then later on he bought back SNK, and then he created SNK Playmore. And if you guys are wondering, is, does SNK still make games? Well, as of right now, I think mobile game, Steam. Steam. I know Metal Slug 3 is on Steam for 7 bucks or 8 bucks. I don't know. I, I might be wrong. And they were doing a lot of mobile games. And one of the big games, of course, they did was King of Fighters 13. That was the last big game. So are they going to do any more big games? I don't know. But as of now, they're just doing mobile games and Steam. And here, if you notice, there it is. Yuji Yamazaki, one of the boss characters in Fatal Fury 3. He's a Ratio 3. So he's super powerful. He's sort of powerful because, again, boss character makes sense. Yeah, he was also in SNK, or excuse me, King of Fighters series, besides Fatal Fury 3. He debuted in 97 with Blue Mary and Billy Kane. They called himself, I think, the 97 team. I can't even remember what they're called. Here. When my life bar is flashing and I have a full meter, they do like a super, like an actual ultra version of the super move. Oh yeah, and I keep failing. Ah, trying to be fancy, that's what happens when you're being fancy. Yeah. So, this is what SNK or Capcom versus SNK is. Capcom's version was actually good. The unfortunate part is that a lot of people in all in agreement is that SNK versus Capcom Chaos is a obligated game, which basically means they just had to do the game because of the contract rule and it came out not good. It had some good characters, it had Mega Man Zero. Yes, from the GBA Mega Man Zero game, surprisingly, Red Devil was there, and some interesting, Dimitri was also there, and some characters, and some even unique characters for SNK, they had Athena from the classic game, Athena, which is just wearing a goddess bikini, and Mars Alien from Metal Slug series, so... I mean, they had some unique characters in it, but unfortunately, like I said, very, I only barely saw it in arcades, and I never had an Xbox, so I never had a chance to play it. And too bad it wasn't also, too bad that the 360 is not backwards compatible with it. So that kind of failed. Three sixty was incompatible with Capcom or SNK vs. Capcom. I'm sorry, I keep mixing the two. SNK vs. Capcom Chaos. It would be nice, but it wasn't. So. Oh man. Really, really.
Ah, fireballs. Everybody's favorite fireball. There you go, super move. Uh, yeah, well, that's SNK versus Capcom, or Capcom versus SNK Pro. I'm, I do sorry about the confusion, it's just so confusing, I don't know why. It's Capcom versus SNK Pro, so that's what the game's about. It was a good game. And I hope you like this first ever Mega Mix game showcase and commentary. I might do more about this. But maybe in the long run, maybe I'll do once in a while too, but it's a, I want to see what it looks like first. So I hope you enjoyed that one, and don't worry, more Mega Mix is going to be, Mega Mix Game Show is going to come also, minus the commentary. But I might do this again in the future, so thanks for listening. So with that, that's it for now. Bye.